Hi guys and welcome to Hologic. Today we are gonna have an unboxing not of one, not of two, but of three new Airbus watches. We are going to have my Ascent, finally the one that is coming and that is mine. And I am eager to compare the production version to the review version that I had a few months back and to see if those little QC issues have been resolved in this production version. And we're gonna have two origin watches, the little ones, the 38 millimeters, in those flashy nice colors. Well, let's go right away. Very, very nice, as you can see, little box which will cover the watches right how they need to be covered. Let's go check this first box right away, and yes, Hello, there you go, and here you've got Jody and his pal Stevie with whom they made this company. And let's go, you've got a screwdriver, a small screwdriver and an Airbus sign cloth, very cool, and the watch itself. Yeah, he's me the black, not exactly the flashiest of them all, but yeah, very you still have a touch of red in that second hand and in the outer part of those indices. Let's take all the plastic from this one. All right, we have removed all the plastics so we can see the H-Link bracelet, the strap, the clasp. And let's start by the measures of this watch. We should have a 38. 38 means they were measuring just the bezel and not necessarily the case. So the bezel diameter is 38. The case diameter would be a little bit larger, something like 38.7. I've got, yeah, another measure. That's what I've got. Thickness, an H35 in here. You've got 12.8, so that's not bad for a 200 meter water resistant watch with an NH38. Log to log, we've got 44.2, pretty cool, pretty small and nice, and you've got a 20 in log width, and the bracelet tapers so from 20 to just 16, where the bracelet meets the clasp. So the clasp is beautifully made, it is etched Airbus with the Airbus sign and the Airbus logo and lettering, and once we open it, you can see that you've got that very nice, it is the same that Saint Martin uses, you've got that on the fly adjustment of the clasp. Very nice, very cool. If you have not seen this watch, but I'm sure you have already, even though the, the V1, you've got a textured dial, a textured black dial, not shiny at all. You've got those square indices everywhere, but for 3 and 9, where you've got rectangles, and 12, where you've got a double rectangle, and at 6, where you've got the frameless date. Airbus with the sign in the upper part of the dial and origin 20 ATM at the bottom. Quite well made. A lot of people complain about the Airbus saying that it is a little bit simple, a little bit vanilla. I think that everything is well made in here. You even have, in the case, if you look at the case, it is polished everywhere, like a tool watch pretty much all the time is or should be, some would say. Even the chamfer is polished as well, see? On top of logs you've got regular vertical polishing. On the chamfer you got a horizontal polishing, if you can check that, and on the sides of the case you've got vertical polish as well. Very nice. Let's see how the bezel rotates. Yeah, 120 click. Rotation is pretty good. No backplay whatsoever. That is very nice. There's no backplay whatsoever. Very, very cool. A lot of attention has been paid to that. And do I see? No, there is no misalignments that I can see. Let's check the crown, the protected crown. Wow, that is buttery smooth. Very, very nice. See, you can see that this watch has been made by an industry. This, this watch has been made with a lot of love from people who know and understand that these things are very important for us aficionados. 
I forgot to tell you about the quick release feature of this bracelet, great great, I also know that this bracelet has kind of a trans end link because it is neither male nor female, it poses as a female but it is actually a male because you cannot bend it as you see, it stays in place like that, so it looks like a female but it is actually a male end link. So the actual end end link to end link is 49.5 millimeters. So there's two left, I already pre-checked them, so here is the purple origin. It is exactly the same watch, but for that purple, let me just remove these, take a look at that dial, isn't that interesting? Well, I know the crystal is sapphire, of course, what else will it be? But the bezel insert looks like something else, the bezel insert is sapphire as well, isn't that cool? Take a look at that sunburst, this is definitely my favorite, maybe because I've got a lot of black watches, but this is definitely something else. Apart from the dial and bezel color, it is exactly the same watch, so yeah, just know that, but this looks actually really cool. I thought it would be a bit flashy, but you know, it is a bit flashy, not too much. That sunburst is pretty restrained, nothing really crazy on that sunburst department, but yeah, something really, really cool, and I do believe that these are still available. Of course, course you've got the links for these three watches in the description of the video. And we go to the final watch of this selection, my own Airbus Ascent. The one that I reviewed last time was not mine, it was just a review unit and you can go ahead and check that review in here. I just wanted to take a look at it. Can you guess which one I chose? Uh -huh. I am really conventional and I chose the black one. It was one of the ones that Jody sent me the first first time around and I just found it really mesmerizing. Plus, let's go, I'm gonna take off these, you know, I was a little bit doubtful but now I am glad that I took the black, that I chose a black enamel dial version. It is the least expensive of them all but I don't know, that black enamel is just really shiny and uh, it is really really a well-made watch and it gives just a great first impression of quality and refinement. When you check this watch, it, look at how it shines, look at all the surfaces, look at all the light play with all those great reflecting parts. Yeah, you've got the same clasp as with the uh, origin, but besides from that, it's pretty much the same thing they've got in common. This is a gara, go anywhere, do anything, watch, but it could double up as just a very classy dress watch. Very, very nice. The negative point that I see is that you wouldn't want to scratch it. And if I zoom in and look at those indices in macro, I do not see any debris, so I think they have taken care of that small QC issue that I saw at least on my test version in these production versions. That is very very nice to see that they have dealt with that so that is absolutely great. Hi here's Olivier from the future and I have noticed something not so good with the ascent at least with my version. When you screw down the crown it is really hard. It is maybe just my version here, my unit here, but somebody else commented upon it. I've spoken about it to Jody who told me to keep him updated, but if you notice this pattern in yours for the people who have bought it, please do let me know. But many people have responded and just one complaint about these except for me, but do let me know if this happens also for you. If you want to see the review of this watch, don't forget to check the video the full review of not only this version but many many other versions. Check that in the link of the description, I'm gonna leave you right here with some other great watches that you can check. Thanks again and I'll be seeing you very soon, goodbye!